So the spotted ground thrush is um, a species and it, uh, considered to be globally endangered and it's endemic to Africa uh, with five subspecies. One of the subspecies, the Bacheli, is um, endemic to Malawi and data on the subspecies has been rare because work on it was done many, many years ago uh, such that it's current conservation status um, is unknown. Even though it used to occur on several mountains in Malawi, but currently Mulanje Mountain is the only habitat where the bird potentially occurs. My name is Moses Samalani, uh, a master's student from Longer University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, uh, Luana. I'm studying environment and climate change. For my thesis, I'm looking at um, the spotted ground thrush as an indicator species uh, on how biodiversity is responding to changes in the climate. special about the spot, spotted ground thrush is the fact that it has a very unique way of living. It is a ground dwelling, as, as the name already suggests, it's, it's a species that is bound to the, to the forest floor. He would prefer those patches where there is a very dense undergrowth, a very dense uh, vegetation on the, on the forest floor, where there is uh, enough leaf litter, where there are typically big, big rocks, big boulders like you see just around me here. Um, so it, it has a very specific habitat requirement and that is also part of the reason that, that makes it so rare and that it is so difficult to find it, that makes it so vulnerable, one would say. It was estimated that no more than, than 40 pairs still exist in Malawi. variety is, is enormous. There is a high a number of endemic species that occur on this mountain. We have set audio modes to record and camera traps um, on two forests on Mount Mulanje, the Ruo Gorge and uh, uh, Chisongeli, with the purpose of trying to um, identify its song um, so that it can be used even for studies in later on as well as trying to understand uh, what is happen happening to its habitat as well as again confirming its presence um, on the forest. There is the Tiolo Alit, there is the uh, yellow throated Apalis, there is a a, number, a high number of species that are only can only be found on this specific mountain. And that is what makes the area so important to protect. We were obviously aware of the fact that finding the spotted ground thrush would be not so easy. Uh, the species hadn't been seen for 15 years. One of us saw a bird quickly flying away. I managed to, to point my binoculars at it and I, I, I saw the bird for like half a second, a split second, and I immediately saw that this was a spotted ground thrush. We found a nest uh, about five meters high up in a tree, very well hidden, and we only succeeded in finding the nest, obviously, after many hours of, of, of monitoring and following these birds. And one of the two birds was sitting on eggs, and we believe that we have seen one single chick that was just a wonderful moment, obviously. This was a moment of great joy. The country has um, seen a lot of different threats, uh, different threats that face this, this bird, some of which are deforestation, others are poaching. We find in this exact forest patch that we are searching. We found snares um, literally everywhere, everywhere along the trails uh, within this forest patch. 
So in protecting this species, which is one of the most vulnerable species that we can find in those Afromontane forests, in saving this species as a flagship species, we will succeed in saving all other species that exist within the same forest patch.